All right, hey guys, um, just a little impromptu video here. It's Saturday morning. We had a little uh, event inside with the 818. We had some customers show up, but how many times do you have three factory fives show up and all three of them are supercharged cars? So I want to show you the cars and talk to some of the owners here. Um, so we got basically two 33s and, and, a, and a Mark III. It's a Mark III roaster, right, Carl? It's a three, yeah. It's a Mark III. It's got a Paxson supercharger. I don't even know what that supercharger is. And you got an old flathead with a blower on it. So we'll start off with Henry Rod. Henry, I love your shirt, man. Thanks, Great Dave. job. So tell us about the car and tell us what you did with the engine. And this car, by the way, is going to be at SEMA 2011. Uh, it'll be in our booth. We're really excited about it. Um, actually, both of these cars and that blue, both of these cars will be at SEMA. The blue car will not. But uh, tell me about your car. It's uh, serial number two, factory five serial number two. Dave Smith has serial number one. It's a 1953 Mercury flathead, board and stroke with a wine blower on it, pushing a whopping 275 horse downhill. <laughs> right on. Custom interior, custom aircraft seats, uh, custom fenders, custom scoop. Uh, played with the roof a little bit. Door panels, dash, just make it yours. I'm That's digging on the interior. How did you get the idea for the interior? I mean, it's a real aircraft. I'm trying to look at how many Air Force. Yeah. And so, obviously, I have an aircraft type uh, tie-in, but I, I try to get it to look old school. That was my goal to make it old school. So basically, you got like fighter plane seats, bomber, bomber plane seats. As Those well. are really yes. As well as uh, I powder coated the panels on the on the door, put put a stereo in it, and uh, dashboard, custom dashboard, a rat fink type uh, automatic transmission uh, shifter. I'm loving the wheels. What's with the tires and wheels? Uh, old school. Those are uh, reversed moons with the baby moons on them and the trim rings on them. How do you like the How do you like the G Force? I have these on my big block car. How do you like them on the street? Uh, they spin. Yeah, yeah. They, they do spin. But honestly, I'm I'm actually happy with how they handle. Yeah. They don't handle bad. You know, I mean, for a 15. You can turn, you know? Like sidewalls too, but yeah. The yep. car handle, it has a three link in it as well, so the car handle is very nice. Oh, it's classic. Hey, nice job on the car, and I'm happy to have it at SEMA. We're real lucky. Thank but you, David. you wear a shirt like that, you know, and you get to have your car in the booth at SEMA. <laughs> um, let's go over and talk to George. All right, George. <laughs> Nothing mild about this car. Now, that is a nice looking hat. Thank See you. that, folks? That's what you need to do. Um, tell us about the car here. So, that's serial number six. Two. Serial number two, sorry. And what, what serial number is this? This is number 78. Got about two and a half years ago. Henry's actually here today. I picked it up. Oh, wow. me and, uh, Small world. So we're back again. So this you is, just you did something different with the hood hinge too because of this. You yeah. did your own hood hinge, one that actually works. You can pop that if you want. It'll uh, you open the door and uh, it's right in stock location. Right underneath the, the collar right there. You're going to have to help me here. Let's see if Dave knows what a stock location yeah, is. Got it? Yep. So I did my own, hin own hood hinges. It's a 4.6 dual overhead cam, Ford motor, all aluminum, 32 I gotta interrupt valve. you, I gotta interrupt yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead. You didn't do your own hood hinges. These are like aircraft quality engineering here. <laughs> That's all done footage. with a, a drill press and a hand grinder. That's great, it's uh, beautiful. Just, you know, and then I polished them after I drilled them and everything. It took a little while to figure out the angles so it would lift up and out over. Because most hinges want to lift, you know, and it would hit the hit the grill or hit the cow. Yep. Uh, it's a 671 blower, fuel injected, mega squirt computer. It's a 4R70W transmission, electronic shift overdrive. It's run by a Bauman controller. Uh, I programmed everything myself. Did all the bodywork and paint myself. Wow. Did the whole blower and engine setup. Um, you powdered the chassis? I did have uh, powder tech uh, do the uh, powder coating local pe people near me they did I, I every, noticed every, metal, doesn't, there's every metal part is powder coated really the whole chassis like all 50 parts I noticed something right off the bat I, I noticed the powder coating right away but I noticed there's in addition to the hood hinge there's something the factory five doesn't sell <laughs> what's this thing I don't understand what is well, that when you drive cars on the road sometimes you need a wiper so I got a wiper it's a mighty wiper it's something I yep. bought and it fit pretty easy and uh, it works really well so is it wired yeah, the wire goes down inside, inside the here, hard top? inside the hard top, and goes to the cow through a hole. Beautiful. Pretty much stock interior the way it came. Yep. Uh, I didn't really do a lot of stuff there. Um, I pretty much stuck with the standard package because I didn't want to. I didn't really have a lot of money to go crazy with custom things. Yeah, you didn't have a lot of money uh, to go crazy with custom things. The yeah. most expensive yeah. part on this is the scoop. That's like a real authentic Enderly scoop, so that was yeah. pretty expensive. But the blower case I picked up from a buddy that had as a doorstop, and I reconditioned it, redid the blower, awesome. bought a drive for it, um, and adapted it to the 4.6.
I love these wheels. What do you do with the wheels? Because these are, are these 19s and 20s? 18s these are uh, 18 and 20, yep. and they're Boss Motorsports. Um, it's a nice looking wheel. They are a nice wheel, and they're, they're pretty uh, pretty competitively priced. So Now you do have a non-Ford part in the car. I noticed uh, right off the bat, and you told me earlier on. And I'm well, not talking well, taillights here. Corvettes make good donors. It's a, a <laughs> Z06 tailpipes, and I've got uh, LED you know, mid-year Corvette taillights I uh, Frenched in. All right, so this car is going to be in the Ford Racing uh, SVT, the, basically the outdoor booth at SEMA. And so we just won't tell Ford Racing that there's some Corvette exhaust tips on there. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. Nice All right, job. Thank you. Really nice job. And your son Justin is here. Yep. You guys drove up. Yep, we came up. And, right. Uh, Did he do any work on the car? Yeah, he helped me quite a bit, you know, moving things, lifting things, and I uh, had him drilling. They're great for rivets, you know, yep. and they got to drill and do all the rivets. Kids Life are great kids are good for slave labor. They're, they're great awesome. for that. So. Yeah. You run a four link, I noticed. Yeah, I like the four link. It's a little cleaner than the three, and I'm not going to probably track the car, so yep. I don't really need the three link. Well, there's a real trick a thing I noticed is that you've got a four link in. A lot of the hot rodders like the four link because it looks good. It's really pretty. I think it drives really well. But look at your plate. How did you? Is that legal? Well, when you get back, when, if you were a cop, you'd see it. No problem. That's so, right. <laughs> no one's oh. having any trouble at all. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, so you basically there, mounted yeah, your license so. plate right off the suspension bracket yeah, there. So that worked out pretty good. That's great. Well, the last supercharged car we got here is Carl Magnuson. Carl, I love your hat. Nice job, man. So. Now, Carl's a local celebrity because he was in the newspaper with a car. Tell us about the car because you started different than most guys. Most people see Buy Effect 5 kit. Carl's bought one in different pieces from different guys, but let's hear the story. Yeah, as you indicated, it was a difficult way to do things, but uh, actually I fell in love with the chassis. The chassis yeah. was made for the World of Wheels uh, some time ago, uh, by, and it was presented by Disc Brakes for Us and MPE Racing. In, in, I remember seeing the chassis at World of Wheels. Right. So you took that chassis, I which is a show car chassis. chassis. Right. Yeah. And uh, as as with the other car, everything is powder coated. Every metal piece is powder coated and uh, black. And uh, actually, the running gear, it's all candy apple red. The brake components are candy blue. And um, so uh, 302. It's a 302 or 4302. But you have a little something special here. No, yeah, yeah. A lot of trick components. Paxson supercharger. So you have a, a 50 Paxson supercharger for the mus yeah, Mustang engine. Really carbureted. Have you had the car dynoed, or do you know what about horsepower it's making? Uh, I think it's just under 400. Yeah, horsepower. that's perfect, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it runs pretty cool. It, it runs terrific. It yeah. really does. Um, and it, I think it's a good balance, weight balance. You know what I like about the car is this, I don't see a lot of cars with a flat vintage paint shop. It, it has a good patina to it. A lot of guys use a metallic yeah. paint. And uh, I used a Wimbledon white. Is this a Wimbledon white or an off-white? You know, I it has a vintage look to it. There's, I'll tell you what, I mean, my wife and I spent probably a whole weekend picking out the colors, and it's a number. It's, yeah. it's like chip numbers. Oh, OK. It's there's chip number no, 17B. There's no special name. Right on. I call it a Cobra White. Well, Carl, congratulations. The fit and finish of the car is great. This is a Mark III. We're on our Mark IV now. It looks like you got the Mark III or Mark 3.1 seats. These are the newer seats. Uh, yes, but I did. I went out and swapped all the cells. I love the, the, the covering on the transmission tunnel and how you did your interiors. It's really a, a nice car, and congratulations. So, yeah. so here we are, Saturday morning. What a job I have. You know, three supercharged Factory 5s, and uh, two of them will be at the SEMA show. And um, just ignore that little comment about the C5 tips on that uh, hot rod. So thanks a lot, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Cool.